John Christopher Depp II, born June 9, 1963, is an American actor and musician. Depp made his feature film debut in the horror film A Nightmare on Elm Street, 1984, and appeared in Platoon, 1986, before rising to prominence as a teen idol on the television series 21 Jump Street, 1987-1990. In the 1990s, Depp acted mostly in independent films with auteur directors, often playing eccentric characters. These included Cry Baby, 1990, What's Eating Gilbert Grape, 1993, Benny and June, 1993, Dead Man, 1995, Donnie Brasco, 1997, and Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, 1998. Depp also began his longtime collaboration with director Tim Burton, portraying the leads in the films Edward Scissorhands, 1990, Edward, 1994, and Sleepy Hollow, 1999. In the 2000s, Depp became one of the most commercially successful film stars by playing Captain Jack Sparrow in the Walt Disney swashbuckler film series Pirates of the Caribbean, 2003-2017. He also received critical praise for Chocolat, 2000, Finding Neverland, 2004, and Public Enemies, 2009, while also continuing his commercially successful collaboration with Tim Burton with the films Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, 2005 where he portrayed Willy Wonka, Corpse Bride, 2005, Sweeney Todd, The Demon Barber of Fleet Street, 2007, and Alice in Wonderland, 2010. In 2012, Depp was one of the world's biggest film stars, and was listed by the Guinness World Records as the world's highest paid actor, with earnings of 75 million US dollars in a year. During the 2010s, Depp began producing films through his company Infinitum Nihil, he also received critical praise for Black Mass, 2015, and formed the rock supergroup Hollywood Vampires with Alice Cooper and Joe Perry, before starring as Gellert Grindelwald in the Wizarding World films Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, 2016, and Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald, 2018. Between 1998 and 2012, Depp was in a relationship with French singer Vanessa Paradis and together they had two children, including actress Lily Rose Depp. From 2015 to 2017, Depp was married to actress Amber Heard. Their divorce drew much media attention, as both alleged abuse against each other. In 2018, Depp unsuccessfully sued the publishers of British tabloid The Sun for defamation under English law, a judge ruled the publication labeling him a wife-beater was substantially true. Depp later successfully sued Heard in a 2022 trial in Virginia. A seven-member jury ruled that Heard's allegations of sexual violence and domestic abuse were false and defamed Depp under American law. John Christopher Depp II was born on June 9, 1963, in Owensboro, Kentucky, the youngest of four children of waitress Betty Sue Depp, née Wells, later Palmer, and civil engineer John Christopher Depp. Depp's family moved frequently during his childhood, eventually settling in Miramar, Florida, in 1970. His parents divorced in 1978 when he was 15, and his mother later married Robert Palmer, whom Depp has called an inspiration. Depp's mother gave him a guitar when he was 12, and he began playing in various bands. He dropped out of Miramar High School at 16 in 1979 to become a rock musician. He attempted to go back to school two weeks later, but the principal told him to follow his dream of being a musician. In 1980, Depp began playing in a band called The Kids, after modest local success in Florida, the band moved to Los Angeles in pursuit of a record deal, changing its name to Six Gun Method. In addition to the band, Depp worked a variety of odd jobs, such as in telemarketing. In December 1983, Depp married makeup artist Lori Ann Allison, the sister of his band's bassist and singer. The kids split up before signing a record deal in 1984, and Depp began collaborating with the band Rock City Angels. He co-wrote their song Mary, which appeared on their debut Geffen Records album Young Man's Blues. Depp and Allison divorced in 1985. Depp is of primarily English descent, with some French, German, and Irish ancestry. His surname comes from a French Huguenot immigrant, Pierre Dieppe, who settled in Virginia around 1700. In interviews in 2002 and 2011, Depp claimed to have Native American ancestry, saying, I guess I have some Native American somewhere down the line. My great-grandmother was quite a bit of Native American. She grew up Cherokee or maybe Creek Indian. 
makes sense in terms of coming from Kentucky, which is rife with Cherokee and Creek Indian. Depp's claims came under scrutiny when Indian Country Today wrote that Depp had never inquired about his heritage or been recognized as a member of the Cherokee Nation. This led to criticism from the Native American community, as Depp has no documented Native ancestry, and Native community leaders consider him a non-Indian and a pretendian. Depp's choice to portray Tonto, a Native American character, in The Lone Ranger was criticized, 2021, along with his choice to name his rock band Tonto's Giant Nuts. During the promotion for The Lone Ranger, Depp was formally adopted as an honorary son by LaDonna Harris, a member of the Comanche Nation, making him an honorary member of her family but not a member of any tribe. Depp's Comanche name given at the adoption was Ma Wu Mei, which means shapeshifter. Critical response to his claims from the Native community increased after this, including satirical portrayals of Depp by Native comedians. An ad featuring Depp and Native American imagery, by Dior for the Fragrance Sauvage, was pulled in 2019 after being accused of cultural appropriation and racism. Depp moved to Los Angeles with his band when he was 20. After the band split up, Depp's then-wife Lorianne Allison introduced him to actor Nicolas Cage. After they became drinking buddies, Cage advised him to pursue acting. Depp had been interested in acting since reading a biography of James Dean and watching Rebel Without a Cause. Thanks in part to his catching the eye of Craven's daughter, 38, Depp landed the role of the main character's boyfriend, one of Freddy Krueger's victims. Though Depp said he didn't have any desire to be an actor he continued to be cast in films, making enough to cover some bills that his musical career left unpaid. After a starring role in the 1985 comedy Private Resort, Depp was cast in the lead role of the 1986 skating drama Thrashin' by the film's director, but its producer overrode the decision. He became a teen idol during the late 1980s, when he starred as an undercover police officer in a high school operation in the Fox television series 21 Jump Street, which premiered in 1987. He accepted this role to work with actor Frederick Forrest, who inspired him. Despite his success, Depp felt that the series forced, him, into the role of product. Disillusioned by his experiences as a teen idol in 21 Jump Street, Depp began taking roles he found more interesting, rather than those he thought would succeed at the box office. His first film release in 1990 was John Waters's Cry Baby, a musical comedy set in the 1950s. Although not a box office success upon its release, over the years it has gained cult classic status. Also in 1990, Depp played the title character in Tim Burton's romantic fantasy film Edward Scissorhands opposite Diane Weist and Winona Ryder. The film was a commercial and critical success with a domestic gross of $53 million. In preparation for the role, Depp watched many Charlie Chaplin films to study how to create sympathy without dialogue. Peter Travers of Rolling Stone praised Depp's performance, writing that he artfully expresses the fierce longing and gentle Edward, it's a terrific performance, 48, while Rita Kempley of the Washington Post wrote that he artfully expresses the fierce longing and gentle Edward, it's a terrific performance some text goes here. Depp earned his first Golden Globe nomination for the film. Owing to this role, a species of extinct arthropod with prominent claws was named after Depp as Kutanukila Deppi, Kiel is Latin for claws or scissors. Depp had no film releases in the next two years, except a brief cameo in Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare, 1991, the sixth installment in the A Nightmare on Elm Street franchise. He appeared in three films in 1993. In the romantic comedy Benny and June, he played an eccentric and illiterate silent film fan who befriends a mentally ill woman and her brother, it became a sleeper hit. Janet Maslin of the New York Times wrote that Depp may look nothing like Buster Keaton, but there are times when he genuinely seems to become the great stone face, bringing Keaton's mannerisms sweetly and magically to life. Depp received a second Golden Globe nomination for the performance. His second film of 1993 was Lassa Hallstrom's What's Eating Gilbert Grape, a drama about a dysfunctional family co-starring Leonardo DiCaprio and Juliette Lewis. It did not perform well commercially, but received positive notices from critics. Although most of the reviews focused on DiCaprio, who was nominated for an Academy Award for his performance, Todd McCarthy of Variety wrote that Depp manages to command center screen with a greatly affable, appealing characterization. 
Depp's last 1993 release was Amir Kustarika's surrealist comedy drama Arizona Dream, which opened to positive reviews and won the Silver Bear at the Berlin Film Festival. In 1994, Depp reunited with Burton, playing the title role in Ed Wood, a biographical film about one of history's most inept film directors. Depp later said that he was depressed about films and filmmaking at the time, but that within 10 minutes of hearing about the project, I was committed some text goes here. He found that the role gave him a chance to stretch out and have some fun and that working with Martin Landau, who played Bela Lugosi, rejuvenated my love for acting. Although it did not earn back its production costs, Ed Wood received a positive reception from critics, with Maslin writing that Depp had proved himself as an established, certified great actor and captured all the can-do optimism that kept Ed Wood going, thanks to an extremely funny ability to look at the silver lining of any cloud. Depp was nominated for a third time for a Best Musical or Comedy Actor Golden Globe for his performance. The next year, Depp starred in three films. He played opposite Marlon Brando in the box office hit Don Juan de Marco, as a man who believes he is Don Juan, the world's greatest lover. He starred in Jim Jarmusch as Dead Man, a western shot entirely in black and white, it was not a commercial success and had mixed critical reviews. And in the financial and critical failure nick of time, Depp played an accountant who is told to kill a politician to save his kidnapped daughter. In 1997, Depp and Al Pacino starred in the crime drama Donnie Brasco, directed by Mike Newell. Depp played Joseph D. P. Stone, an undercover FBI agent who assumes the name Donnie Brasco to infiltrate the Mafia in New York City. To prepare, Depp spent time with P. Stone, on whose memoirs the film was based. Donnie Brasco was a commercial and critical success, and is considered one of Depp's finest performances. Also in 1997, Depp debuted as a director and screenwriter with The Brave. He starred in it as a poor Native American man who accepts a proposal from a wealthy man, played by Marlon Brando, to appear in a snuff film in exchange for money for his family. It premiered at the 1997 Cannes Film Festival to generally negative reviews. Variety called it a turgid and unbelievable neo-western, 58, and Time Out wrote that besides the implausibilities, the direction has two fatal flaws, it's both tediously slow and hugely narcissistic as the camera focuses repeatedly on Depp's bandana head and rippling torso. Due to the reviews, Depp did not release The Brave in the US Depp was a fan and friend of writer Hunter S. Thompson, and played his alter ego Raul Duke in Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, 1998. Terry Gilliam's film adaptation of Thompson's pseudo-biographical novel of the same name. It was a box office failure 64, and polarized critics. Later that year, Depp made a brief cameo in Mika Kaur's Makazele Without a Map, 1998. Depp appeared in three films in 1999. The first was the sci-fi thriller The Astronaut's Wife, co-starring Charlize Theron, which was not a commercial or critical success. The second, Roman Polanski's The Ninth Gate, starred Depp as a seller of old books who becomes entangled in a mystery. It was moderately more successful with audiences but received mixed reviews. The third was Burton's adaptation of The Legend of Sleepy Hollow, where Depp played Ichabod Crane opposite Christina Ricci and Christopher Walken. For his performance, Depp took inspiration from Angela Lansbury, Roddy McDowell and Basil Rathbone, saying he always thought of Ichabod as a very delicate, fragile person who was maybe a little too in touch with his feminine side, like a frightened little girl some text goes here. Sleepy Hollow was a commercial and critical success, 